<clears throat> hello, hello. We are back with Anno Domini going into part two here of our uh, episode seven. Um, so some weird things have happened so far. Um, I'm sure weirder things are yet to come. Um, but yeah, you guys head out to uh, head towards the uh, supposed exit of the Feywild. Um, seems like Delia knows a place, a Fey crossing of some sort that would um, get you guys out. Uh, so you guys start heading in that direction. So, is there anything in particular you guys are doing as you're just like traveling? Uh, I mean, we should probably, you know, take a rest because none of us have healing. And I, I don't have any spells. That could be a thing you could do, yeah. And I'm sure the kids are tired from their near-death experience. You have to feed huh. all of these children. David, you're really quiet for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh... Better? No. Um, that's weird. I mean, Delia can spontaneously generate food. It's true. At least I mean, she'll make all, all the kids that she'll probably make all the kids fall in love with her, but I'm sure that's okay with the Fey in Fey Law. So. <laughs> Fey Law, aka do what you want, just don't use Oberon's name in vain. Yep. I mean, we we did discover that there are some weird laws um, in the <laughs> Fey. Um, the Erasmus met a dude who said like it's illegal to walk on this certain path, and then like try to kill them um and then now him and Erastus are best friends that did happen I think Skylark Limewort yo that was the last one. is that any better no no man <laughs> still very quiet you get in all sorts of shenanigans there yeah, yeah. Erastus yeah the guy has like sworn vengeance against him um and he'll he'll like come back to like kill him at a, some some distant distant point in the future. That's what he told him. But like the whole time he was like, "But I'm like your best friend." Like it was like a weird mixture of like, "I really like you, but I'm gonna come back and like you know <laughs> have vengeance on you or your children, depending on how long this takes." Yeah. Vengeance on you, vengeance on your children, vengeance, vengeance on, on your cow. Your oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got it wrong. <sighs> uh so yeah you guys are are um big and... rest <laughs> are, are, yeah are you guys gonna take a rest i guess that's the question i'd like to take a rest please we should okay. definitely take a rest so, so i can prepare my brand new weapon or brand new uh spell rather right uh short rest or Spiritual long rest weapon. uh is, does a long rest heal us yes uh, we should take a long rest let's do that all right, I, turned I like, up the, I like the way you think, guy. Right? You're my new best friend. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I hope so, because it turned, literally turned it up all the way. <laughs> so. Yeah, it sounds perfect now, yeah. All right, can you hear me breathing into it? No, no really. really. Good. I know this mic has had that problem, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I think we should probably rest. Except that how are we going to feed 15 children in a fake? Delia can spontaneously generate food. That's right. Except that we're well, going to be. So the thing is, she so could do that in her grove. Well, the grove's not that far away. That's true. Yeah, you no, just, just go back to the grove to rest. That makes more sense anyway. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you guys go back to Delia's Grove and you sleep and eat a lavish feast, I guess. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Do we get advantage on all upcoming combat rolls because of our feast? Um, mm, I'll give you advantage on one upcoming roll of your choice because of how good this food like was. Like maybe inspiration? Yeah, you just charge inspiration, basically. Okay. You awaken, feeling well means. rested. All the things we can do in video games that we can't do in real life. Yeah. Oh, that's not for us. Just, just kidding, sorry. <laughs> so everybody gets a long rest. You heal uh, all your stuff, get all your spells back. Hey. So... If I have auto prepared spells, do they count toward the number of spell slock slockets sockets I'm allowed? To... <laughs> slockets. <laughs> spell <laughs> schlockets. <laughs> also, how do I know what's auto auto prepared? Uh let's take a look at your character sheet, shall we? What were you asking before? Do pre 
uh, like automatically prepared spells or always prepared spells rather do they count toward my uh the amount no limit oh okay good no. uh oh what what are your always prepared spells for like that's what i'm trying to figure out yeah let me double check this tempest domain okay so you always have fog cloud and thunder wave prepared for first level and you always mm -hmm. have gust of wind and shatter prepared for second level okay so then besides that you and then is it, what's my what's my limit there the number yes, of slots i have yeah let me find the number of slots you have um the prepared is i think different let me double check this Uh, you choose a number of cleric spells equal to your wisdom modifier plus your cleric level. And so, of any level. So you get to choose whether or not you're going to bulk up on all second level or have some first level. Um, okay. But it's equal to your wisdom modifier plus your cleric level. So you're level 3 plus whatever your wisdom modifier is. Which is 3. Okay, yes. Yeah, so you have 6 spells beyond those 4 that you have automatically prepared. Okay. It's so between first and second level. Does all the second level spells of our cleric? Does it not seem like a whole lot of second level spells? It's possible that I missed a bunch of second level spells and only took the ones that oh, looked Oh, maybe good we only me. added, yeah, I think that's what it was. Let me drag the rest of them over your character sheet so you can actually okay. have them on there. Thanks. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, does anyone do anything uh, else while, while we're the long taking rest? a break? Yeah, that sort of thing. Um, I wait until very close to the end of the rest, but and anyone else who wants to do anything, go for it. I think Lisa takes, um, like, before she lays down to rest, she takes out the, the flask that she filled with the water from the thing. The pond, yeah. Whatever, yeah, the pond, and she drinks a little bit of it. Okay, yeah, you feel happy. <laughs> you feel, you feel joy. Oh yeah, um, Donan was gonna start a uh, brew going, or start oh, some yeah. kind of concoction in this flask. <laughs> yeah, I or, mean, Delia I bet there he, definitely he, has other materials you can use too. Can his brewers kit be portable, like in, in the <laughs> sense that it can he can like bottle stuff up in a small keg and carry it around on his back? Um, so I have the tool. I have the tools. You gonna make some jail hooch? Could, yeah, I mean, if you have the the issue would be if you had. A, an object to put this in, which I think Delia can provide you. She can provide you with some sort of I want like, a small cask, keg. Small, yeah, small cask or keg or whatever. Um, for that purpose, for sure. Yeah, you want to make that roll and see? <laughs> sure. See, what, what kind of what kind of brew are you trying to make? You're, so you're making it with the joy water, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trying to make what would be a good option. So while this is going on, can I say that I'm contacting Quell through some some magical means that he set up, and I'm just contacting him and asking him if he'll teleport to officiate um, my marriage? Is that? I don't think we've ever established that you have any sort of thing like that. Well, yeah, but you said that he, uh, that he put a bunch of different things into my equipment as little little magical things that could either be hindrances or or. Oh, well, we did say that, didn't we? And we never we've never even talked about that. Yep. Um, well, one of those things could be like a microphone that whenever I say quell, he starts listening in. <clears throat> Connor, um, I bet I bet there's a random table for that. <laughs> I, yeah, I bet there is. Minor magic items. <clears throat> um, okay, roll. Uh, let's figure out what you have right now. Um, roll a d8. Well, I was hoping you'd just surprise me in, in different ways. Okay, so so you just want to like say I think I would have this thing. Um okay, so make a make a d20 roll. Do make a look save. Oh my yeah. goodness. So you I... might have lost that item at some point. But okay, you did I'm sure you had it at one point, but you, you've since lost it or whatever. Rip. Okay. 
That's sad. Yep. Sad. Honor, I found something for you. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. The infinity pot. <laughs> Lukewarm peppermint tea. Oh, man, I love these tables, dude. <laughs> <laughs> finicky <Sorry>. trident. A, <laughs> a finicky trident. A silver plus two trident screams in pain when thrown. <laughs> <laughs> The Thorax thumb, a preserved hit. dwarven thumb on a golden <laughs> chain. The wearer is immune to all effects of alcohol. If both thumbs are worn, grants immunity to all poison. <laughs> Thorax other thumb, a badly preserved dwarf thumb on a gold chain. Smells terrible. <laughs> the wearer can add one to their die. Yeah, the wearer can add one to their die roll once per day. If both thumbs are worn, increase to two times a day. Just add water. Water. It's a bunch of little crystals, and when you add water, it turns into more water. <laughs> and then there's a lightsaber, which is a saber that weighs as much as a feather. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Boots of punting. What? <laughs> I want a bracelet of, of doom. A bracelet that seems to shrink as it nears anyone's arm, but remains wearable. Once worn, the wearer feels vaguely uneasy, but otherwise suffers no ill effect. Cannot be removed <laughs> by any means. Oh no. Oh, that's hilarious. That's exactly what happened to my character in the other game. The doomsday, the, the doomsayer. Oh yeah. The doomsday prepper. I that's forgot so what I named him already. I don't know. That was a great character. The shovel of sympathy. A shovel that has feelings. <laughs> and a DC-15 will become animated and react on its feelings. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Sorry. Yeah. So, Donan, you want to make that roll to see how good of a brew this is? Are, are, is there anything, anything in particular you're trying to make? Or just, like, a make beer with the magic water? <laughs> um... Pouch of Endless Glod. This is too good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> rope of nope. A coil of strong rope. If arranged in a circle, creates an impassable barrier. And in the <laughs> in parentheses, nothing can get it can get in. Nothing inside can get out except snakes. End of parentheses. And I mean nothing. <laughs> Sound, light, air. You will suffocate in six hours minus one hour for every two people inside. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait, so how does it, like, get undone? You say um, nope. Yeah. And, 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 and Oh, wait, no, that activates the rope. Uh, I, I you can never again. unactivate it. Yeah, it says it warns you when you're out of air. Yeah. I think... Oh, it, wait. Probably you just grab it and move it. <laughs> what you do is you get a... You be a druid and then turn into a snake. Anyways. <laughs> hey, look, they have Captain America's shield in here. So what would happen if you did that, though? Because it says, like, no light or air or anything, right? So, yeah. like, you would instantly just become a cone of darkness, right? And yeah. just, like, start suffocating as if you're in the <clears throat> void of space. Ring of invisibility. A ring that becomes invisible when worn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, we need to rein this in. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. you're good. Uh, are, are you just making beer that you, is with magical water or... Um, something more specific. I think. I think Donan's looking for some beer that'll give you uh, <clears throat> like a bit of a bit of pep when you're about to go into combat. Some kind of a boost. Something that you can take. You kind of or either ignore a bit of damage or you... So bloodshot. You're trying to make bloodshot. I'm trying to make some kind of a <laughs> stim pack. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Make that roll. Now, what button is that? 
And a medicine that's a medicine check, isn't it? Uh no, it sh you should have a it, is that a toolkit you have on your Oh, it's a toolkit, yeah. Character sheet. Yeah, you would just roll that with uh, intelligence. Um, I think I had had wisdom last time. Uh, I think that was because of the specific circumstances. Uh, you are trying to right now. You're trying to mix specific um, oh. mixtures and try to come up with something arcane, almost. So that is okay. definitely intelligence. Okay. Hey. Um, what did I make? It just kind of. It, it just kind of. Yeah, tastes... Did I make something awful? Did I make something good? It's really mediocre. <laughs> so instead of so what you've done is you've diluted the happiness so it's just a <laughs> mild sort of sickly pleasant feeling um and it it doesn't taste like beer and it doesn't taste like water it just tastes like watered down alcohol too watered down to enjoy but yeah, just enough of the right. beer flavor to almost be good it's like drinking LaCroix, honestly. <laughs> oh, so like you're drinking sparkling water and somebody in the other room screams the name of a fruit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. That's basically what it is. Except they scream beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. But it gives you like just the slightest twinge of happiness that fades too quickly to enjoy. Hmm. That's really sad. So, what would be, what would be a good name for that kind of a reaction? It's not melancholy. That'd be. Um, what would one call that? Fleeting happiness. What would like is the word for that specifically? So I have beer Lacroix of fleeting happiness. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So is the effect that when you drink it somewhere a disembodied voice actually screams the word beer <laughs> no no that's not what Dang happens it. no yeah it, it didn't it didn't quite work um but you know you've never worked with magical joy water before so that's fair yeah, yeah. um but yeah everybody has a great great feast um <clears throat> the children all so this is the thing i i think like erastus i assume you're still kind of like taking the lead on like making sure everybody's kind of like settled and and uh, yeah you know with the children you you see all of the children are infinitely happier and like so you see a lot of the they were like really on edge before and like confused and some of them looked like almost honestly traumatized right right um but uh this whole sequence is really starting to take some of them out of their shells so like um a lot of the like younger a lot of the girls are like crowding around delia and she's like showing them various like things about her grove and like doing little magic tricks for them and and like you know that sort of a thing oh my goodness i have the spell prestidigation i hate that word prestidigation prestidigation i have the party trick spell so i make party tricks <laughs> yeah you want to cheer up the kids too yeah. He's, he's totally a dad character. <laughs> he's definitely a dad. Yeah. Yep. Wait, I can chill warmer flavor up to one cubic foot of non-living material. I can make your beer not taste dead. Bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's an option. <laughs> I don't know that Donan would want you touching his concoction because... It's, it's magical. I don't have to... No, I think he, if anybody asks about it, about it Donan's going to be protective over it. That's fair. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like the kids, special. the kids really enjoy the food. Um, they they really enjoy like like talk like a lot of the boys like kind of are talking to you, uh, Erastus, right? Um, and a lot of the girls are like crying around Delia. Um, how are the rest of you reacting to the kids specifically? Like, how, how are you? How do you interact with them if if there comes a chance to do so? I mean, it's just sitting on a log alone, eating food, watching people. <laughs> Ulrich okay. probably tells them stories. Mm, okay. Things. About life. Yeah, we have the like the Bilbo scene, right? Where you're like telling them a story about like <laughs> trolls or whatever, right? <laughs> Except the 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 end of the story is like, and it turns out that trolls are actually really nice, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I think Donan invited me found, for breakfast. I think Donan's found one of the younger children's helping them eat, mm. you know, helping them with dinner and stuff, just. <laughs> 
sure. Yeah. Marmaduke, what about you? Uh, I have a dancing crab. Come on. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you show them the dancing crab? <laughs> yeah, we have a dance party. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> nice. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, so, so that kind of happens there. And I think um, one thing that happens, like, so do you guys take watches during the night? Probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I would think um, we know enough from our adventures in Sherwood to know that watches should be set at all times. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think what happens yeah, is I... on Erastus's watch, um, Erastus, you're you're like, can you frame the scene for us? Like, what 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 would you be doing as like you know it's it's kind of late at night and you're you're watching. Um, let's see. I feel like they have a lot of random items that he might be using. Um, Go into your settings, David, and see uh, if your uh, communications volume has been turned down again on that mic. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Because it keeps turning off. It's We can barely hear you. Um. Like, it's to the point where... If any other sound is coming through my headphones, I can't tell that you're talking. How about now? There we go. I mean, yeah, basically I had it set to 100 and then it went down to 90 for some yeah, reason. Uh, it does that. There's a there's an option that you have to uncheck. find the setting that says allow. I, it's allow applications to take exclusive control, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the one that breaks it. Make sure yep. that's unchecked. Okay, yeah, I unchecked it. But also, it was only down by 10, so I'm not sure why it made such a big difference. Yeah, but... I don't know. Because yeah, that are a logarithmic be scale? Oh, yeah, either that or it could really be stupid. Um, uh, a uh, issue of the... Uh, well, the I had that box checked, so that's probably what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I just unchecked it. Yep. Um, it, it actually checks itself, if I recall correctly. Of course it on does. A, on a Windows update sometimes. Darn you, yeah. Skynet. Get out of my computer. <laughs> Anyways, um, was that, what was I doing? Uh, Cursing Skynet. Yeah. He's oh, Jared. <laughs> oh, man. Do you even have any it? of that on you? I don't. <laughs> Other people might. <laughs> but I don't think it. Oh, yeah. Dang it. No, it's, just, it's just you. <laughs> oh. So nothing happens. <laughs> Ah, oh. it's the it's there's an S, so that means it's multiple. What were you trying to do to us? Jared? I wasn't trying to do anything. No, they that they time. just they were just bad. Uh, it's just bad grammar, and they didn't put an apostrophe where there should have been an apostrophe. Are you sure? Because the other yes, ones I'm have positive. apostrophes. Where I'm not seeing one. Uh, eighty four has an apostrophe. Yeah, I mean ninety doesn't have an apostrophe, but obviously that's that's one person so uh this is, yeah this is all happening right. to one person there's no there's no way that it can happen to multiple people jared remember it's, I, I don't know it's, an, it, it's <laughs> the curse is exclusive to one person there have literally been laws that yeah. have resulted in million dollar lawsuits over a single character like that <laughs> it's true in the case of the suit i'm thinking of it was a comma but even still yeah <laughs> um so i think that i'm doing almost the same thing I was doing with the kids where I was playing with the, the party trick spell oh, um, because that is a warlock spell. So I think mm -hmm. he's just kind of toying with it, but this time he's like analyzing it and he's trying to yeah. figure out what's going on because it's new. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think he's almost trying to learn something about what's going on with him. Does yeah, it make an sound? Check? Uh, no, it's, it doesn't make sound. Um, no. Because I can control what it does. I think he's just doing little. Uh, you can either either make sound, I think, or no, that's minor illusion. Or yeah, it can do a bunch of things. Um, but he's just making little flames with it. Yeah. Can Donut notice? Uh, I mean, I uh, assume yeah. you're asleep, but if you want to notice, I don't. <clears throat> that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you can just say that. Donan... He's a perception, right? <clears throat> Donut would like to notice this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did no, you say no, perception. Sorry. Arcana is what I. Oh, Arcana. Can it be perception of better? Oh, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you didn't get that zero. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, 17. So, I don't know if this spell in particular has anything 
different about it. It's probably to you, the thing it reminds you more of anything, because um, you've seen this spell before, right? You recognize the spell. It's prestidigitation, and you've seen it right. done by Quelniescent all the time, right? Yeah, it's more that he gets it from his warlock class, so that means right. it's powered by that, and that's why he's interested in it. Oh, right, so I, I'm not sure if you could figure out like I mean, if you want me to cast a Eldritch Blast at something, I'll do that instead. But. Right, the issue is, I like even though it's powered by a different origin, um, I think yeah. just, just like casting Prestidigitation over and over again isn't going to really probably like g- give you any more information. Right. Would you, so. if you rather, like, can cast an, a, like an Eldritch Blast or something? Right. If, then, if like... you want to, then that, that's totally okay. Yeah. You can do that. Is there okay. something that Donan could cast to help him figure this out? Possibly. I mean, I think Bless would have given me a bonus to the roll, but I already made it. So. <laughs> um, let me look at um, your spells. I'm curious as to what you do have available to you. For this sort of thing. Oh, you could you have augury. That could certainly tell you something. Cause can I or, ritual cast no, augury? Or no? Yes, you can. Um but actually I'm looking at it and it's like the results of a specific course of action. Also, is what doing a ritual takes about. 10 minutes, so that would be really weird if you woke up and then started doing a 10-minute ritual at me. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it would be a Donan wakes up and goes over to ask him about it. Uh, I see. Yeah, so Augury actually wouldn't work in this instance. It's more about, like, would this decision be good? No. Oh. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But... I mean, yeah, you could certainly make a role of your own to try to determine something but yeah i think this is probably like don't maybe you notice that he's doing the press of digitation um just kind of like sleepily like um seeing him do this and before mm-hmm. you get up i think erasus this is when you probably do the elders blast um right. and that's the moment i was i was also considering i could i could try like seeing if i can communicate to the cat if that is something you think would work better yeah you could try that um yeah so i think what happens is he's maybe this will lead into the elders blast i don't know but i think mm-hmm. he's sort of looking at the little black flames that like flickers in and out um and yeah i think he's kind of mumbling to himself like what are, what are you <laughs> he kind of flicks it and it's like um and i think he's like this has anything to do with that ridiculous cat <laughs> and um because that cat came up a million times yeah um and uh yeah i think he's he's trying to you know pick out something about the magic so he might be essentially trying to like communicate with the cat although he wouldn't know that's what he's doing right mm-hmm. but he was he's basically trying to dig out what the the source of this power is and yeah so i think maybe he's like feels like there's something there but he can't quite put his finger on it and so he's like uh maybe a little more juice and he yeah sort of just sticks his hand out and um and yeah, I don't know if, don't know if you want to interrupt me. Just out into the trees somewhere. Okay, yeah, so you just like hurl a thing of black flame out into the trees and just kind of like yeah. hit something. And it does necrotic damage, so it's not or force damage, actually. So it's not going to okay. light the trees on fire. Right, right. <laughs> it just has some yeah, no So it just kind of like <laughs> splinters some bark and stuff out in the distance. Yeah. Um, yeah and Donan, this is probably where like, you see him do this. Um, where in the seven storms did you learn how to do that? Hush, man. People are asleep. You're the one who threw the explosive spell. I threw it out into the forest. <laughs> it still made a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I'm not exactly very familiar with it. I'm going to talk in a normal voice, but he's whispering. Yeah, um, same. Yeah. So he says, uh, and honestly, I'm not sure. That's sort of what I'm trying to figure out. Um, yeah. How long have you been able to do that? It's been since like yesterday, right? <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's like, well, uh, since yesterday, I think. I mean, shooting it at that portal was the or dome or whatever. Oh, was that's the first that time I'd ever done. That was. Yeah, although I can't really tell you what it is, <laughs> just that I can do it. Um, what would help here, Caleb? Like some kind of detect magic work? Um, detect magic wouldn't tell you 
Well, you could do detect magic if you wanted to, but it would it would more likely tell you what if there's a spell affecting Erastus and not like where does he get his magic from. Yeah, I have um, that too, but I figured that probably Yeah. Wouldn't Sure. You could cast it though. Um Yeah. Sure. Well, let's see. You can cast it as a ritual. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. That's fancy. Do I need to roll? Uh, or do I need to roll it or just? No. Uh, okay. You just do it. Um. So let me double check. What school of spell something is? So you, I think Donan, you notice this. Um. So first off, you notice that. Um, let me double check. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, here it is. You you sense that there is abjuration magic on Erastus. Abjuration. Um. So the school of abjuration emphasizes magic that blocks, banishes, or protects. Hmm. So there's some sort of abjuration spell on him. Um, and then you notice that there's also a spell on you that you didn't notice before. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. And let's see. It's a uh, conjuration magic on you. Ooh, can I tell what it does? Is that... uh, you can make an arcana check to try to determine arcana more check. about you. Your, your the two spells, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so you you kind of like are like studying the magic essences. Um, and I think you you can tell that whatever spell is on Erastus is blocking him from something. Um, it's may, it maybe hasn't appeared yet, but there might be like a specific location in which Erastus won't be able to go to, or something that's like. Some place he's van he's banished from <laughs> something like that, um, okay. and then you, Donan, you you can tell that there's some sort of, um, it's the destructive type of conjuration magic that's on you, um, mm -hmm. but there's obviously some sort of trigger that hasn't triggered yet, where mm -hmm. something some sort of explosion might come out of you, um, and for, because of a specific trigger, but like. You're just like, wait a second, okay. And then you remember this conversation that Marmaduke had with, with Ulrich, and that's probably where your mind goes. Oh, <laughs> oh lovely. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dang it, you. Again, Caleb's fault. <laughs> yeah. Caleb is forcing me to do this. <laughs> Says the man who created the character in the first place. <laughs> so the question, Josh, would be, would Donan check Lisek as well? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you also <laughs> find something on Lisek. Um, uh. <laughs> and it's an enchantment. No, actually, it's, I think it's a uh, transmutation. Um, same as Ulrich. Um, and with that Arcana check, you can uh, you can tell um, that it's similar to kind of what uh, what Ulrich had gotten, where it's like some sort of like change in in brain chemistry, some some maybe mental tick or something that has been added to Lisek's psyche without her knowing. Great. Oh. Did I do that too? Yep. <laughs> Man, I don't remember this. I guess it wasn't the high five. <sighs> and if we kill... with massive side effects. This oh, and Marmaduke also has one on him, obviously. Just one? Um, yes. Oh wow. <laughs> I believe so, right? There's wait a second, let me think about this. Trying to think if there'd be other magical effects that you could detect. Uh, seven uh, possibly. Caleb, right? uh, def definitely. Oh yeah, no, there's like there's three like different things. five. No, you're right. right. There's like th there's like three to five on me right now. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so you you sense you yeah. sense one thing. Yes. Uh, the first thing is, um, some sort of conjuration spell on him with and with the Arcana check, you can tell that it's something where. Um, something he touches might transform. Um, or, no, I guess it would be transmutation then. Um, 
so uh, like a spell that might come out of him if if he that there's a specific trigger um you also sense i'm just thinking of what what kind of schools these would be you sense oh i guess sorry yours would be evocation josh Um, evocation yeah that's what i meant okay because evocation is the like damage spells um so jared so marmaduke has that one and he also has enchantment there's an enchantment on him which is like charms and those sorts of things that's the one that happened the last two weeks ago right um or is that the other no, thing that that's happened the other character thing. creation okay no 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 that's the thing that happened yesterday oh okay. and then uh, it would be transmutation you also sense on him okay so there's lots of magic coming off of marmaduke um, nice. You think you sense specifically the uh, transmutation is coming from his arm. Um, so his right arm, he always keeps wrapped up in like cloth. Mm-hmm. So you sense it coming from there too. Yeah, you're suddenly very aware of a lot of magic that was under your nose before. Uh, what about the children? Did any of them have? No, nope. nope, they're all they're all good. <laughs> residual effects That's from the before? No, it doesn't seem so. Hmm. He couldn't legally show that on, te- on television. <laughs> what? Children, children can't be harmed on television. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Today I learned. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I think I mean I see you t- setting up a ten-minute ritual. So I'm like. Uh, I mean, I think Donut explains a little bit about what him, what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, f- I assume I've seen you do this before, so. Sure. Yeah, I'm like, have you, did you find anything interesting? Interesting doesn't cover the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> that man right there is exuding more magical energy than I've seen in one place outside of a magical academy. <laughs> Yeah. He, does he looks like the bits smog. that are left over from when a wizard makes a mistake and casts two spells <laughs> all at once. Man, you, so you're accurate. you're way way more on the nose than you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, well, that sounds a bit excessive, <laughs> but he I, certainly is an eccentric. Uh, eccentric doesn't cover it. <laughs> Oh. Well, you seem to have some kind of abjuration magic. Are you like, talking to me right casting? now? No. Oh, I was about to say. No. That's strange. I don't have any spells on me at the moment. At least not that I put. Uh, did, there, was, there was one on him from Marmaduke, right? Yeah, you you remember Marmaduke and Erastus high-fiving after the battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because... You know, you're Jared unsure as to how he got it on you and Lee Sig, but um, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think he mentions the spell. So there's no saves to involved in this like physical spell transfer thing. Nope. Negatory. Mm. <laughs> That's interesting. Yep. Um, free spells on people. Remind me to roll a uh, wild sorcerer. I mean, I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> no, I. As far as I know, yeah. Um, I. Uh, so do, did I get anything more from my seventeen or kind of once I amped the juice a little bit on the oh, spell? Um. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm trying to think of where you might have seen something like this as a reference. Um, I was dead, and the cat resurrected me. <laughs> uh, so I could think of where. I yeah, maybe come. maybe there's like a feeling there, right? That feeling that you had when you came back to life. Right. It's some. It's it's almost like a taste in your mouth, right? Like you you have this taste where you're just like, okay, where was that from? Oh, okay, it's that food that I ate. But like, it's right, just yeah. very brief in your mouth when you taste the, the cat. Those That's weird. No, it doesn't taste like cat. It tastes <laughs> like fish. <laughs> um. 
yeah, so I think he kind of just looks at his hands kind of like, you know, uh, I think he's, he's trying to place something and then he just kind of shakes his head and he pulls out um, uh, from his bag a um, his sensor and some incense and uh, mm-hmm. the sensor looks like it's shaped like a, a mountain, but there's a cleft in the middle of the mountain and that to set the uh, incense in. And then um, there is a uh, a trident and a bident that go on either side, and the the end of each is the incense, and it burns down. Sure. Um, and he sets that up and starts each end on on you know lights them with the the uh, uh, press press how you say it press to digitation press to digitation that's a dumb so like digital like press to digitation. Okay, yeah. So he uses press to digitation on it and lights them both on fire because that's you can light candles with it. And um, then yeah, he starts doing like uh, mumbling some rhetorical or uh, rhetoric, like uh, not rhetoric. Um, rote prayer. Yeah, rote um, prayers at it. Yeah, to because I think you actually have to do that as a person with right, uh, lights, you know, whatever holy magic to to get your spells back so yeah he's gonna start getting his magic you know basically praying for his abilities back okay do you want to make a religion check for me sure Uh, nice okay cool um so you can sense to like not opposing forces. Um, oh, is he in a conversation with someone? Sorry, I was talking to Ruth, but I can hear you. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Two opposing forces. Yeah. So, so it's not exactly opposing forces. There's two like contrasting forces. Um, but as you're praying, so you feel the one that kind of like you know tastes like this particular uh thing that happened when you got resurrected yeah. and then the feeling that you usually get when you pray um which is kind of like a lonely empty feeling but like twinged with like i don't know this like longing hope um mm-hmm. uh when you pray and those sorts of feel those two feelings kind of start to kind of intermix in your in your psyche um if it's and- all the same to you i think the the warlock stuff tastes like iron and yeah. the uh like has a metalish like yeah, minerally taste, and then the um, the cleric type magic has is like a cool like um, sensation. So you know, like, like do mint. sensation, almost. yeah. So less of a flavor and more like a being in a fog kind of yeah. like um, where you can tell that cold moisture is clinging to you. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, sure. Um, and so this starts to happen here. Um, and you are, do you close your eyes usually when you pray? Um, I think he focuses on the, the sensor. So there'd be some really dim light, but otherwise his eyes are open, but his attention would probably be slightly off on that. Right. So, um, out of the peripheral, um, out of your peripheral, you see a flash of white, um, just kind of off in the, in the forest a little bit, just like very briefly. Mm -hmm. Do you like look up? Yeah. Yeah, you don't see anything at first. Probably reach for it. I have dark vision if that helps. Yeah. Um yeah. I probably reach for my rapier just in case. Yeah, so Donan, you see Erastus react like this. Mm-hmm. To something set, he saw. Set the sensor in the ground next to me and yeah. Stand up and and slowly start reaching for my shield too. And then yeah, just yeah. try and figure out what I saw. Also, actually I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find the spot that i thought i saw it and cast light on a tree nearby oh okay because obviously dark vision is only 60 feet yeah. so uh, sure you want to do that and then make a perception check with advantage you're gonna what david cast light on a tree <laughs> oh okay <laughs> okay what? hey nice so when you do that um you see um and i'm getting really yeah. good rules <laughs> You see a cat. Um, it seems like the same cat, but it's not calico anymore. It's like a, a pure white cat. Um, 
like it's silky somehow identified fur. as the same animal but like or... it, it seems like the same animal as if you had taken away all the brown and black and what would be left over right from the white okay. that's left over from the calico right um and it's it's just kind of like sitting like twitching its tail back and forth like in a couple hundred feet not a couple hundred but like a couple, several dozen feet away right, yeah. from from the uh the grove just kind of like staring at you like kind of twitching its tail i have a question if i cast a spell do i get it back at the end of the rest still sure so the rest fine. isn't over okay uh cause i know dd is a weird thing where like if you're two seconds before the end of your rest you're still as if you hadn't rested at all and then as soon as it ticks over you get That's everything fine. so okay for the purposes of this it's fine right um, um but yeah don't and you see this cat too I'm going to cast Detect Magic. This is my last spell for the day. Okay. Um, how, what's the range on that, though? Uh, 30 feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, how far away is it from me? Like uh, 80, 90 feet. Okay, so before he does that, he stands up, and so I'm going to take it away for now, because if it runs away, I'm not going to do it. Um, it. He stands up and starts to move closer um and uh yeah he's just gonna try and get as close as he can to try not to spook it okay uh donan what are you doing you see him going towards the cat yeah um hang on sorry trying to deal with someone being confusing um so i will do i still have my detect magic going from the ritual uh say it again what do you mean well, well, still 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 detect. yeah 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 it lasts for like 10 minutes or something i think yep 10 minutes okay. so is there magic on the cat um, you haven't got close enough, um, but I, yeah, are you go, are you going with Donan or sorry with Erastus to go towards the cat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess I I think you guys get within thirty feet of it, and then uh, Donan. Um. Yeah. You can sense that uh, it's it's an inherently magical uh, being. Um. I'm not sure if there's like a particular school. Probably like enchantment and illusion. Yeah. You can tell it's obviously some sort of feyish creature of some sort. So yeah, um, when we get when we get close, Aras is like, is this is this you? And he hands holds his hand out and does the little flame thing. The prestidig so, prestidigitation. <laughs> yeah. So the cat um flicks its tail again and then runs off into the forest. Um but, but like not in a way that it's trying to get away from you. You can feel that it's almost like bidding you onward. Oh, sort okay. Of thing. Like right. follow me. I was gonna cast command on it, tell it to stop, but now I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I run after it. Okay, you just run after it? Um As I'm running, I cast light on Ulrich's face to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, and you can't cast it on his face. You could cast it on, like, the rock he's next I to. I cast him, but... it on the blade of grass next to his face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. I, I want him to wake up, because I don't want the leaving place unguarded. Yeah, sure, Ulrich, you yeah. wake up, and you're blinded okay. by light. <laughs> ah, what's going on? Is Lysig or Marmaduke cl close to Ulrich? Uh, no. Lysig's <laughs> probably kind of far away from everyone. Okay, yeah. Marmaduke is doing the thing that he told you he was doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you were doing something of, while we were on watch. I would have noticed. Didn't yeah. Notice. yeah. Would I've noticed, noticed him doing magic doing stuff? stuff? He's not doing anything yet, but he, oh. he's. Okay. Yeah, so he's he, just laying there for now. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess I run after it. Okay. Yeah, Ulrich. I mean, like, was it literally just to wake him up so that someone was on watch, basically? Yeah, so, yeah, okay. I just didn't want to. So I'm like, ah, where am I? What's going on? And then, like, my my eyes slowly adjust, and I'm like, ah. Yeah, okay. you, Donan, did you go after Erastus, I'll, I assume? I'll just... Yeah, I think Donan kind of, yeah, says to him, hey, take watch. 
Erastus, Erastus chased something and I'm following him so he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... So, uh... Yeah, Don is probably just oh, like, shoot. Oh, okay, I'll just... I'll just wait here then. Never mind. Yeah, so a little girl like kind of like stirs in her in her sleep because of the light and the, the you know <laughs> yelling across the the distance. Um and uh she kind of oh, like Oh, I have looks... to touch the thing to cast light on it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So you touched my face. <laughs> but I was really far away. So touch a rock oh. and throw it at his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you touch a pebble and then just throw it over by him. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. That's what it was. Sure. Okay. Um, Kick him on the way past then. But, so I got hit in the face with a rock and then it like glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glue? Is that the past tense of glow? <laughs> yeah, don't. <It's>... Glowed. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, anyways. Do we have to roll it in? <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> but yeah, so a little a little girl like wake, stirs from her sleep and like looks at you, Ulrich, and says, Is it daytime already? <laughs> nope. We're just shenanigans. Just throw just throw a blanket over the light. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goes back to sleep. What's a shenanigan? Oh, really, trust me. <laughs> um. Doctor Ulrich, what's a shenanigan? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So I think as I'm running after, I'm like, I'm like, hold on, I have I have a question for you. Come back here. Mm -hmm, <laughs> like mm -hmm. chasing after it. Sure. Sure. Um. So you you end up next to um a lake um similar to the one that marmaduke was next to it's like this you know glowing pond mm -hmm. um and the uh you know the cat pongerbon is uh sitting on like a rock like overlooking the uh the little pond there um and uh yeah you 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 catch up to him and then, like, what do you do? He's just kind of, like, looking into the water. Um, the cat is? Yep. I just so walk up next to it. You didn't tell me it was the cat, right? Because if you told me it was the cat, I'd definitely be running after you. No, I just, I literally just threw a thing to wake you up so you wouldn't Just, be... just make a check. Just make yeah, a yeah. Check. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think once I realize it's not going to, like, take off anymore, I walk up next to it and look down into the water. Um, and, uh... I think, like, as he's looking at the water, he's, he's just kind of, it's like, what, what are you? <laughs> I know you're not a cat. Silly as that may sound. Yeah, so, the cat just kind of, like, looks back at you briefly, um, and, again, seems to have this, like, kind of, like, mysterious glint in his eyes, and, like, almost like a, a come here sort of a feeling that kind of projects at you. Almost okay. as if, like, look into the water with me, sort of a thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he looks down into the it's water. It's very, like, Rafiki moments, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he so looks down. You look down. Yeah. Um, so you see yourself, um, obviously, right? But it becomes clear. It's like the. It's literally, like, the, the exact <laughs> scene from, from Lion yeah. King. Because what happens is you, you see yourself, and you're just like, okay, it's just my reflection. But then the cat, like, leans down and, like, puts a paw on the, <laughs> on the, the lake, and then it ripples, right? Yeah. And when the ripples fade, you see yourself, but like different. Um, your your face is more angular, um, almost as if your bone structure has changed somewhat. Um, you see yourself more hardened, probably more battle hardened. You see a couple scars that you didn't have before. Um, I mean, if you if you would guess, it's like. A vision of like maybe you in the future or something like right. that like maybe what something you could become um and mo yeah, he most rubs of his face is yeah. like yeah mm. yeah <laughs> like, i'm not as pretty as like yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> most importantly um you see uh uh yourself with uh um so you see yourself like moving as as if it's your reflection right like it's, it's right right mirroring yeah. you um but you see, so you see yourself in the, uh, are you wearing your armor at this point? I, I actually probably assume you wouldn't. Um, because you're probably you're not. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Um, but you, you do see yourself in your armor in, in this, yeah. sort okay. of this, like, you know, I have the my wooden, sword too. But... Yeah. The wooden armor and the big old like sword mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's like, um, so what were you picturing your, your packed weapon to eventually look like? Um, actually I have that, um, art that I had done, but it basically, it looks like, a. 
Aiata gun. I don't know if you know what that looks like. I do not. I'll look it up. Um, but it's a two-handed weapon instead of like a, because they're usually kind of shorter. Um, and it like has missed the drifts off it and runes carved into it and stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. it's a pretty, it's kind of like a long, thin weapon, but it's really big. Um, yeah, so you see um, the the bone greatsword, right, that, that yeah. uh, you got with the guy, except it's that, except looking like that, right? So it's as if it's morphed into into this weapon. Um awesome. and you're you know, you have it across your back. Um and um most importantly you see um a ring on your finger. I put it in chat. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, cool. Um you see a ring on your finger, um, and it has um a symbol that you don't recognize. Um it but it looks like a um Uh, let me let me double check something real quick. See, I think he like holds up his hand so we can see a better look at it in the water yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And you get a tight shot of it or whatever. So it looks like it's like a book, um, opened, and you can see there's all sorts of like illuminations inside, um, like these detailed illustrations. Um, you've seen things like this before, right? Like a lot of priests like make these like really detailed like illuminations on these like old manuscripts, um, right. like the Bible and various things like that. Um, you see this like yeah ring with this like book on it, um, and Pongerbon um, kind of like looks at you and you can kind of like feel his gaze on you, um, and uh, if you like look over at him, mm -hmm. um, he he reaches out like with a paw, just like almost like. <laughs> lean lean it sort of thing yeah he kind of just cocks his eyebrow but then he he squats down and puts his puts one finger out towards the paw okay yeah touches yeah. touches the paw to your finger um and then make a wisdom save <laughs> awesome t phone home <laughs> <laughs> oh no I actually had so, a decent bonus, and then I rolled badly. <laughs> yeah, so... I have that uh, inspiration from the It's meal. like the moment where Frodo puts on the ring and sees <laughs> the Eye of Sauron. It's that right, sort of a yeah. moment. Uh, you suddenly get this flash in your mind of, like, violence. That's just, like, this feeling and this image of violence in your mind. Um, yeah, so he sucks in his breath really sharp and, like, yeah. stammers back, probably. Mm -hmm. And then you see... Um, I, no, you more feel... Like this is a, it's a, it's an image, but it's like it's like almost you're having a fever dream, mm -hmm. but uh, like it's it's it, you wouldn't be able to describe it to anyone after this okay. this moment, right? Right. Yeah. But the feelings that it ev evokes in you is like this this um uh, existential loneliness, this sort of like emptiness, and more importantly, loss. Um, death is incarnate in this vision that you see. Um. And you've seen a vision of the future, and paired with the image that you saw in the lake, you see you you kind of get a feeling for why Pongerbon. And you 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 know that it's Pongerbon who gave you this magic now, right? Okay. Um, and you 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 feel that the reason is because there's something really bad coming, and he wanted to prepare you for it. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think he yeah he looks down at the cat and he's like at Pongerbon and uh, um, yeah I think he I think he chuckles and he's like uh, that's uh can't say that's exactly where I expected this to go <laughs> uh, and he yeah I think he kind of goes and kneels down in front of him and says you're preparing me for something like he's hoping that there'll be more of an explanation. And he's probably still got like goosebumps on his arms and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It yeah, because he's just wearing like a loose tunic, probably. So yeah, you're probably honestly like you have you're in like a cold sweat now. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, it feels like you you have a fever. Um, yeah, so he's acting kind of yeah casual, yeah. but he's <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, Pongerbon um, just kind of like twitches his tail again, um, and kind of turns to Donan. Donan, how you've been? How have you been responding to this entire thing here? You haven't, you didn't see the image in the in the lake necessarily, mm -hmm. um, but uh, you definitely see the Erastus is reacting strongly to whatever he's seeing and react and feeling. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think... Donan's a little weirded out by the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, the cat is awesome. So why why are you all gonna <laughs> dismiss my cat? Okay? <laughs> and so, like, right, like, the cat that you saw in the real world, right, was very... It, it was kind of weird and ethereal, right? But but it was still a cat, right? It was still a solid. It, it was like seeing a cat do a weird thing that it's not supposed to do, but it was still right. a cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this cat feels like divine almost like it's just this weird like weight about him it's as if there's like you I mean, you can sense obviously there's magic in him but right. there's a weight to his presence that wasn't there before when he was just like a calico cat running around in the forest hmm. yeah. um can i make a religion check of to course see you can I yeah. recognize <laughs> anything about this Could I do the same? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, rolling really well with my terrible modifier once today. <laughs> it's like you oh, guys. I can, I can roll. I got on you guys have a good grasp on religion. Um, uh, Donan specifically on the religions of, uh, the UK, right? Like this. this right, yeah. Y'all have never heard of this thing. Um, not even, not even an inkling of a magical cat god named Pungerbon. Yeah. Mm. So I think I, because I don't know its name, right? It's never communicated that in any way. Is um, it? no, but the sprite told you, told the party that its oh, name is Pungerbon. Oh, right, right. See, I think I still kneel down. I'm like, did Olympus send you? Are you from the gods? Is that why you helped me? Yeah, and so the cat looks at you, and you almost feel its sadness, kind of like coming off yeah. of it, like "Oh, honey," like it's like the Jerica <laughs> thing, the thing that Jerica does, where she's like, "Oh, honey," like this pity for you, like no, yeah. that's not like <laughs> sort of a right. thing, yeah, but yeah. like, yeah. Okay, how how much of that do I interpret? It's a cat. Um, so. you just get the like, it's like you feel its pity, and it's like sadness directed at you. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it's still kind of vague. Right, yeah. Uh, he says, well, either way, I have a feeling I'm going to thank you for it. <laughs> uh, and the cat, oh, um, yeah. I think, hops off the rock and goes over to you, Donan. Mm -hmm. And kind of, like, does the thing where, the, you know, the cat, like, goes between your legs and, like, kind of rubs against your legs. <laughs> um, and then uh, he, you know, flicks his tail once. And, uh then sits and like looks back towards the lake and then looks up at you and then looks back towards the lake. So, um, can I rec do I recognize the, the feeling of this particular presence? Like I've probably been in a bunch of different temples and stuff. Do I recognize um, this at all? Maybe. Um, make a luck save for me. Right, I'm gonna take There's a chance on this. Yeah, yeah, you wanna use it? Yeah. So just roll two d twenty. Because it's definitely something related to. It would definitely mm -hmm. be something connected with Donan's past. Okay. Yeah, you got a nineteen nice. there. So, um, Donan, you felt this presence before. You you went to a um uh, a temple once uh, many years ago, a temple of the god of forests, hmm. and the the presence that you feel here is very similar. It's not quite the same, but it's definitely similar. Same flavor to Same it. flavor of divine presence, for sure. Light taint, a light, light sense of hops with... <laughs> yeah, exactly. An earthy, un an earthy <laughs> undertone. An earthy undertone, <laughs> and... Yeah. A hint of... And then there's kind of, like, lines of oak yeah, holding yeah. the whole thing together, mm -hmm, and it's a... Mm -hmm. Not entirely my speed, you know. I'm more of the yeah. the lightning and storms exactly and yeah. strike the trees to burn down the forest kind of flavors myself, but yeah, yeah. But that that yeah, that's what you get from it for sure. And yeah. I think when when he he kind of I think Pongerbon sees the recognition in your eyes, and he kind mm -hmm. of like has a twinkle in his eye, like almost a mischievous twinkle in his eye, like ah yeah, I see, I see what's happening. Yeah, you recognize me. So. 
do I remember from the probably the little in somewhat um, you know external studies I would have done? Do do I remember anything about the particular cult of this forest the god? god? The forests, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so the particular god that you're familiar with is like, um, and I probably have to look this up specifically, but like, let's see. Um, if there's like a, like a Pictish god of forests or something, like an, yeah, like a Celtic god. Part of the problem is the Celts are really animistic, so it's yeah. hard to be like, they have a god for this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you're familiar with, um, the god, the, the, the god that you went to the temple of was, um, <laughs> oh, that might be funny. <laughs> it might be something like this. Give me a second. Okay, yeah. The god that you went to the temple of, um, was, uh, Sucellus. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. It's um, S U C E L L U S. Um, Sucellus, maybe. Sucellus. I don't know. It's it's a Celtic Roman god. Um, a Gallo Roman <laughs> god. So it was kind of like a weird mixture. Um, that happened when when the um, the Asimar Romans came to Britain for the first time. This kind of like weird meshing happened. And uh, this god came out of that, and they're they're the god of agriculture, forests, and alcoholic drinks. Ooh, that's an interesting combination. So yeah. Do I um, know then if there's a? Do I know if there's like messengers or angels associated with this being? Hmm. Let's see. Or like sub deities or something. Yeah, yeah. Um It's likely um you you can't think of anything in particular, but given that it is a forest god, specifically um a Gallic forest god, like a Celtic forest god in Britain, it's likely that they have some sort of connection to the Fae or um, whether or not they have particular a particular specific type of creature that serves them, like, you know, god with angels and that sort of thing. Um, there are almost certainly many Fae creatures that would serve a god such as that. Um, mm. Yeah. You can't think of any particular messengers related to them, though. And certainly not a cat. You've never heard of anything like that. Sure. Sure. Hmm. But yeah, so he's like kind of looking over at the lake like, maybe you should take a look, too. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. So he conveys this with his eyes, kind of makes eye contact. Yeah. You get the sense that... Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think Donut will walk over to the lake. Maybe he wants more water to see if he can make something better than beer LaCroix. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, so a similar thing happens. Uh, you see yourself. Um, but I think it's more instantaneous with you. Um, mm -hmm. For the sake of brevity, you, you see yourself. As, as you walk up, I'm like, brace yourself. <laughs> yeah. You see yourself in in the future, probably, um, right? So we see, like, mm -hmm. I think a lightning tattoo, right? Like, on your temple or something. Um, we see, like, um, your your braids are, are, are in, like, a particular um, Scottish fashion that were that are only done in times of war. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, like, definitely, like, more hardened than, than you are now. And uh, you also have a ring. Um, with like this this book, and you didn't see what Arasa saw, but we we know as the audience you have the same ring with the same illuminated manuscript on its uh, signet. Hmm. 
Do I recognize the symbol? Uh, you can make a religion check history or check? a history check. One of those. Yeah, you do not. It's unclear. Mm. It could be any number of things. There's there's lots. It's just not it's not specific enough that, uh, for you to to recognize it. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um so I think what happens is um we cut away from this scene briefly and we see um we see Marmaduke. Um and um I think we just see him like kind of like rolling around in his like bedroll and then he maybe like opens one eye and then we just kind of like get a wide shot of the camp um and we see Ulrich and you're just kind of like on watch right mm -hmm. okay um so Ulrich what time of the day is it it is Still like my middle of the night yeah like Three in the morning kind of a deal? Yeah, that sort of deal. Um, you hear, you might hear something. Make a perception check for me. Good thing my wisdom is plus zero. <laughs> nice. Hey. Okay, um, you hear the sound of a dog, like a big dog. Like it definitely sounds like a dog, but like lowered by a couple of octaves into a really dangerously creepy range. Oh, that's a good sign. And it's like kind of like labored breathing, like panting as a dog would. And it's definitely oh. getting closer. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wake up Delia and ask her what it is. Okay, um... Um, Delia kind of just like, uh, like kind of stretches languidly uh, in her, like, as uh, she's like laying on the grass. And she says, mm, what? Who just wolf whistled up my future wife? David. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what was that, Ulrich? What did you say? There's this dog sound. I feel like you know what this is. I don't, I don't hear anything. It's kind of like very sleepy. Uh, just listen, listen closely. Her eyes widen. Oh no! <laughs> and she she starts speaking like in Sylvan, um, various things like, "Come to me, come to me, come now." And then you see the trees like around the grove just like start to like peer in, right? Like she as she did before, okay. um, like protecting, like closing everybody in again, um. And right as it seems like the, the 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 trunks have all kind of like lined up like like prison bars, um, you hear a big <laughs> thump as if like a huge weight has just crashed into a tree, and then you see a tree like a couple of yards, uh, a couple dozen yards away from the grove, just like <laughs> crash to the ground as if something just slammed into it. Awesome. Um, Erastus and Donan, you hear this sound from, from where you are. Hmm. Like the a tree just like crashing. See, I think when we cut to me, or cut to us, I'm like by the cat and I'm like, is there any way you can tell us what's coming or prepare us when, when it might come? And then we hear that cracking. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> look up and I'm like, oh, it may have to wait. <laughs> and I'm like, Donan, I think we need to leave. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, and when I you and if sword. you look back at the cat, he's gone already. Yeah, yeah. So then, yeah, we start. I start huffing it. Okay, yeah. So you guys start huffing it back. Um, go ahead and make athletics checks, guys. Okay. Uh, Rastus and Donan. Um, yeah. So Lee Sig and Marmaduke and 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 Ulrich, you're all aware of of this whole situation that's happening. Um, what do y'all do? <laughs> I yeah, so Donan's, Donan's definitely going to get there before. Wait, 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 wait! No, I have, I have inspiration. I'm going to use that. <laughs> oh, I have to use it beforehand. Forgot. I cast Charm Person on Delia. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Are you? Are you trying to? 
Are you fighting <laughs> in the party? <laughs> Again, Caleb's forcing me. He's forcing me. Oh no, I'm helpless to play the game that I can make. <laughs> so, so uh, Marmaduke, if you want to, if you want to, I will let you make a wisdom save to try to resist what's happening to you in this moment. <sighs> Caleb. I really wanted to do that. <laughs> no, that's fine. You don't have to accept uh, it. Uh, I, I, I will oh, leave no. it to fate. Leave it to fate. Yeah, not 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 enough. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's the DC on the wisdom save that she has to do? How do I? Uh, what's your DC as a as a sorcerer? Oh, how do I check that? It should be on your spells page, the top. <laughs> 14 okay 14 teen <laughs> okay yeah she she, she uh, i it make off. a reroll. Oh, right <laughs> spend one of your luck points yep all right yeah, she yes. all right yeah so you uh you charm her um what and then what are you gonna do kill them <laughs> what <laughs> Caleb, I'm evil. No, no, no. Of you. Well, well, so, so if you okay, so keep this in mind. If you say you can't force someone to go against uh -oh. some like their character in such a drastic way that they would like absolutely not do that. Uh, or okay, that break For, forget I said anything. I have her open the uh, the fence thing. That That's what made. I was expecting you to say. Yeah. That's a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. So, so what do you say? You have to say this to her. I go up from like, what's what's out there? You should open it a little bit, so we can see. Yeah, she says, "Why? Why would I do that?" Because because she's charmed. No, but yeah, like this is a uh, conversation we're having. You can you can oh, make okay. her do it, but like so so we can best prepare to so we know what we're dealing with, so we can kill it. I'm I'm pretty sure I know what we're dealing with. It's it's a yeth hound. But are you sure? You saw me turn into a. A plethora of animals earlier. It could be anything in this woods, you know? Ah, definitely. Okay, make a persuasion check with advantage, because charm person doesn't mean you can... Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, oh, you're right. I, I suppose that, that makes sense. And then, yeah, she starts to, like, like undo the, 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 um, the dealio there. And that's when a giant, like, weird-looking hound of some sort, um breaks through the tree line and uh comes in and tries to attack everybody yeah so there's a couple of ways we could do this we can oh. run the combat right now um or we could just end here and pick it up next time i want to get married <laughs> I, I would. I mean, we had enough time that I think we should. We could at least run some of it. I mean, I know it's hard to stop mid-fight, but okay. Yeah, sure. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick. So, um, we might not have to, depending on how this goes. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh crap! What's my? So, I'm gonna drag y'all over to this map. So Erastus and Donan are off the map. Um, Ulrich, you're like over here. Marmaduke, you're like over here. Lisa, you're like over here. Can you guys see the map? Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's lots of kids in the center here. Oh, uh, yeah. Dang it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to use Dryad statistics for Delia for now. Um, so that's her right there, even though she doesn't look like that. Connor, you got a real looker there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and 
and then I'm gonna pull out. This is what the Yeth Hound looks like. Wow, that is incredibly mm. ugly. Yeah. <laughs> so that bursts through the trees. Awesome. And uh, I will bring up the turn order. And go ahead and click on your token and roll that initiative. Make sure you click on your token. Oh, these seem nice. <laughs> I've had pretty good initiatives in this campaign. It's true. Yeah, you, you have, have a good yeah. dexterity, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, her dexterity isn't as good as mine or the things, and she still rolled way better. <laughs> Uh, there you go. So, um, Lee Sega, you get to go first. What do you do? Um, everybody has their full, full stuff. It's been the entire rest. Hey. Oh, thank goodness. So I can yeah. wild. I'm just gonna say you, you guys started resting <laughs> earlier in the okay in the day. Then I was like, we are so screwed. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> How big is this thing? Uh, it is like ten it's feet far. across. Like, oh gosh, it's pretty huge. It's it's that size, like right on the map there, right? Mm. As compared to you guys, it's pretty big. I mean, I turned into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, as soon as you see it, just like a burst into there. Yeah. You, just, like... you can turn into a bear as a bonus action. So if you have a spell you want to cast first, you could do that. That's true. Yeah. Perform. I guess you could technically now that you're bigger. Yeah, anything you want to do before you transform into a bear since that's a bonus action? Um, I guess, is, yeah, is it possible for her to, like, run and make it there? I think so. A bear has 40 movement speed, right? Yeah. No, okay, yeah. You could you could transform into a bear and then run over there and then attack it. Yeah. Yep. Is that what you want to do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so you're, like, run over, and we see a giant bear clash with this huge old ugly dog thing. Uh, yeah, go ahead and... And make, and there goes rolls. the uh, effects budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make two attacks: one with its bite and one with its claws. Nice. Uh, nice. Let me double check what its AC is. So probably both hits. Yep, both of those hit. Nice. Okay, so let me check something real quick. Druid, 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 druid. There's like a specific point in Wild Shape, right? Where they, you can, it counts as like magic weapons your attacks do. Uh, probably. I have no idea. Um, but you do not have that yet. So what happens is, um, Lisa, you, you bat at this thing and claw at this thing and bite at this thing. It's like biting rock. It, nothing, it does not seem to harm it in any way whatsoever. It's a well. sixth level. Your attacks and beast form count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance. Yeah, there you go. So you do not have that yet. So... <laughs> Yeah, so you go up there and you're just like, yeah, beast fire, yeah. But then the thing just like completely, it's just like standing there like, what are you doing? Like, this isn't hurt at all. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so Delia seems like in shock. She's just like, I didn't, I didn't mean it. Why did you? Oh, I guess Marmaduke, you were over there by her and saying this to her. Um. Yeah, she looks at you like, what did she, what, what do we do? 
Does she ask me that? Yeah, because you were you're the one who uh, like, told her not to. Oh. <gasps> get, told her to open it. Get the kids out of here, and I I point in a very specific direction that you okay. know, Caleb. Yeah. How long does the yeah. charm last for? One hour. An hour. Okay. Is it a concentration uh, okay. spell? Um, hey, so I'm right next to her, though, right? I've been hearing this. Whole yeah, you've been hearing this. See if you can say something. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll probably just be like, wait, wh which way is he pointing? You don't know, dude. Like, you have no sense of direction in this in the Feywild. <laughs> I mean, but he can look at his finger and see which I mean, direction he's pointing. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, yeah, was... the, like, he can no, tell right, which I'm way saying, pointing, like, but he doesn't know which tell in that direction. What... Yeah, exactly. Right, but I mean, he can tell whether or not you're pointing at the animal. For well, instance. I'm not pointing <laughs> at the animal. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. It's a specific direction that Caleb knows about. Yeah. Now, is it not entirely encircled in impassable trees, except for that one breach that the creature made? I mean, she can. Yeah, she can, can do that at will. Right, that. right. That's the whole what point. I mean. Yeah. Wouldn't that look weird to Ulrich if he's like, send them that way, and there's literally no way to get out? That's just why I'm asking, because it seems strange. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be strange. Could Delia? We we all know that Delia could could do that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cute. Um. So yeah, let let us let's check and make and see if that is concentration, which I believe it is. Actually, it might not be. Um, it might be one of the spells that just happens. Concentration is not checked. No, it's not concentration. It just happens, yeah. And they are charmed for that duration, yeah. Yeah. So she she nods like frantically, and then and then and then tries to like. So she she's spending this turn like waking up the rest of the children who are not. They're all like they're, they're like waking up and screaming as this like jog thing is like attacking. And so she's just like, "Come with me, children. Come with me." And then like There's starts running bear. towards the uh the other the other side. So I don't I don't see which way he's pointing. He's pointing like this way, like down down on the map here. Okay. That has no meaning to you whatsoever. Right. Yeah, so she she spends her turn like gathering up the children to go. Uh, Erastus, it's you. Um, you spend your turn like <laughs> huffing and puffing and trying to make your way over there, but you do not reach it this round. Yeah. Um, Ulric, it's you, buddy. What you gonna do? Well, so you did just see Lisek have absolutely no effect against this thing, right? I'd like to roll insight against uh, against Marmaduke. Marmaduke, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> make, make a deception check, Marmaduke. All right. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> uh, wow. I I don't even need to. I have plus. I mean, make a roll I, just in case. Uh, we'll oh, see if okay. you you could you could crit fail too. <laughs> so Marmaduke is not being <laughs> very deceptive, oh but like. God. Yeah, Auric I mean, it makes not. sense because a chaos. giant thing just yeah, attacked. It's, it's right? all chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> neither, neither of us are You're really focused on it. Why didn't you take the inspiration? I know. <laughs> I know. Connor, it would have been a waste. I still have two luck points. <laughs> well, then it wouldn't have been a waste because then you would have spent your luck points. The point. Yeah, so what do you Boy. do, Ulrich? Boy. I mean, in all reality, Lisig is a giant bear trying to fight this giant wolf thing. I'm probably going to go help my future wife take care of the children. Yes. Okay. So, I'll probably go over here. You like gathering up the children, too? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to make a persuasion check with advantage because of Delia uh, to see how quickly you can round them up? Oh, I see. Yep. So eighteen. Yeah, you're 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 managing to to get them pretty pretty easily. They like they like all of you. So. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so cool. that's what we're doing. Yep. Um. So it's the Yeth Hound's turn, <laughs> and it starts baying. It's such a awful noise. It's it's honestly hor horrendous. This noise. It's this like howling, baying, whining noise that just pierces your very bones. Um, and everyone, 
including Erastus and Donan, make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. 22. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that just to roll wisdom? He rolled the two twenties. Where's the save? So, so on top of it says saving throw is on top of your yeah. yeah. I know. What? Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Does Marmaduke need to roll? So the, ch the children also fail their save. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Okay, so what happens is everyone who failed their save is frightened until the end of the the hound's next turn, or until the hound is incapacitated. Wait. But, hmm. okay, maybe this doesn't apply, but I'm a, like a light foot halfling or whatever. Don't mm. I have like advantage against being frightened or something like that? Uh, or does that yeah. not apply here? I feel like you do. I think that's right. Let's look at this real quick. Brave. You have advantage on saving. So technically, you're free. not a light foot half halfling, but uh, you are. A it's just a. It's just a regular yeah, halfling, halfling thing. So it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, so you have advantage, I believe, on, on this yep. roll. So does that make you succeed? So you actually uh, got a 14, 14 yeah. which is a success. Yeah. Yep, so you succeed. <laughs> Good old halfling bravery. Um, so everyone who failed um, is frightened until the end of the hound's next turn. A frightened target that starts its turn within 30 feet of the hound must use all of its movement on that turn to get as far from away from the hound as possible. Um they must finish the move before taking an action and must take the most direct route, it's even really, if hazards lie that way. It's a really good thing you passed, because otherwise it would have got attack of opportunity. Yeah, a target that successfully saves is immune to the bane of all Geth Hounds for the next 24 hours. So, <laughs> um... Cool. Yay! So Ulrich and Lysig... Or... Wait, you, no, you failed. Uh, Erastus, I was what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Ar Erastus and Lysig and uh, Delia are all Delia. immune. But so the children just freak out, yeah, right? They're just like holding their 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 heads like, ah, ah, what's happening? I'm really They're... glad that doesn't yeah. do damage, or they would have all died. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, so so that happens. Um, and so Erasmus and Donan, your your guys are, uh, well, uh, Donan, you're you're frightened, uh, which means you like have disadvantage on some things, I think. But you, you can still still keep moving. I don't thing. think he's allowed to take his turn to move towards a thing that frightens him. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's frightened. You can't. You can't uh, yes, no, that is true, them. actually. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. So at least this next turn, you'll just stop in your tracks and just be like, Ugh. Um, Yeah, cool. okay. Wow. So I just stand there then? Or is it not my turn yet? It's not your turn yet, but when when it okay. is your turn, you will you will just stand. There. Oh, did you fail too, Marmaduke? So, quick question: yeah. Do I need to roll yes. since yes. I'm technically? No, you will need. Okay, to roll. gotcha. Gonna... Um, so it is your turn. So you are frightened, so you can't move closer to it, and you are within thirty feet of it. So you're gonna use all of your movement first to move as far away from possible as possible away from it. Two, three, four. Wait. I forgot there's a nifty ruler. Hey, hey that's that. All word. your movement includes your action, right? Um, or no, because it's not your turn. It's just a movement. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, it is his turn. When he's oh. doing this. Um, let me double oh. check that though. Um, because moving as far as physically possible would include your action as a, as a dash. Yep. 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 So you need to move thirty more feet. Oh, you would okay. dash, yeah. Which means a rogue would get really far away because they'd have. To do... I know. So <laughs> this happened. Stuff. We had a, a, a side story where they they fall into these things, and a rogue character got frightened by this thing, and she just like took off like <laughs> completely the other side Teleport. of the world, like just yeah. like I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Peace. That's funny. Yeah. So Marmaduke, you just start booking it. You're just like ah. <laughs> you just pass all the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just run. Um, but that's the thing, you can't actually get out yet because she hasn't opened it. Oh, so you okay. just like well, you, you, you uh, stop right uh, there, right? No, 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 you stop right oh. there. That that's basically the edge of it. Okay. Um but you just like run up to the trunk and just like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Um So Donan, um you can do something on this turn, but you just can't move any closer on this turn. Okay. Um it sparks a fear in your bones. Cast a buff on uh 
sideways Erastus there. Okay. Somebody keeps turning you sideways, dude. <laughs> it's not <laughs> me. Thanks, Jared. <laughs> I mean, that was like five hours ago. <laughs> thought I fixed all of them when I logged on. Um. Oh, I never liked that when I copied them from the main page. Oh, I didn't do bless because reasons. But yeah, bless would be a waste because it's out of range of everybody else. Mm -hmm. I assume I don't know what the range of bless is technically. But... I think it's far, but it's not that far. Yeah. Uh, how, how far away how, are we? How, yeah, how far away are we? I mean, we were close um, enough to be hit by its yowl. It's within <laughs> three hundred feet. Oh, um, so I think you're like. That's the range of the screech thing. Um, yeah, that's insane. I think you're like um, ninety feet away or something like that. Ninety feet, okay. Um, yeah, the range of bless is thirty feet. Are we allowed to come in on any part of the this area up here? Because I would rather be like right here. So if I have line of sight on it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Oops. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't have anything to do right now. Wait, yeah, so you just wait stop can I slog my uh, beer LaCroix of fleeting happiness? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you trying to gain an ounce of bravery. Oh, just gain just that ounce of bravery needed to overcome the fear and walk forward? Um, May... Hmm. Sounds like bullcrap to me, but um... well, he makes he makes another <laughs> check at the end of his turn, right? So you could give him an advantage on that. So I don't. Uh, right. Let me double check. Is that this. How that works? No, it's just until the end of the hound's next turn. It, it lasts for one round. Oh, oh okay, yeah. it's really short. Gotcha. Yeah, but he can use it again if you haven't been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Successfully immune, immunized to it. Um, right. make a luck save, Donan. All right. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Oh uh, no, that's not enough. No, because it's eleven to oh, twenty. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it it's it's literally so close. Like I think what happens right is you take the drink and then you have this moment of fleeting happiness and you take a step forward. You're like, I can do this, and you're just like, Nope, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> just like I just gotta drink. So. <gasps> yep. So that happens. Uh, Lee Sig. What you gonna do? <laughs> um. I mean, the fighter literally just ditched you, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could all just run, but. Man, that's lame. Can I make a roll and then an attack? Uh, what 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 kind of roll do you want to make? An arcana roll. To figure See, like out what? what, like what kind of magic this thing? Well, not what kind, but like. What might hurt it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make an arcana check. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you you're you're. From the look of this thing, and from your druid training, right, which included like fey things, um, to some extent, um, your guess is um, that either um, this uh, it would be affected by cold iron, which is a specific type of iron that targets fey particularly, or it would be affected by silvered weapons, which is supposed to target like lycanthropes and stuff, right, like were bears and were wolves and stuff like that. Um, one of those will, will likely work, but you're not sure which. Uh, you also don't have access to either of them, so. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a bear. <laughs> um, but, like, that's that's with normal stuff. So magic in and of itself should work on this thing. Um, mm. You're unsure as to... You know for sure that it's going to be immune to, like, normal, like, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't made with either silvered or cold iron weapons, depending. Um, but other types of magic, uh, other types of damage should work. Like fire should probably work. Like anything inherently magical, I should definitely work. Um, well, looks like we're going to get married. 
<laughs> just have an impromptu uh, Pirates of the it's Caribbean like a, style yeah, wedding I ceremony. Was just to say Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. Um. So, how far away are Erastus and Donan from me? Uh, you can't tell. You don't even know they're there. But right for the audience's reference, they're like ninety feet away. Um. How far away from me is Erastus right now? Like 90 feet. Or, I mean, sorry, I mean uh, Ulrich. Ulrich? Yeah. Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm going to sign silent speech to Ulrich um, and tell him to come back and help me because I can't do anything. Oh. So? Yeah, so you hear... And, like, tell him all of the information that I kind of gathered. Right. Well, okay, well, then I'm just going to turn to Dahlia and be like, will you marry me right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not your turn, but you can definitely do that on your okay. turn. All right. Um, I mean, you, you probably say that the now. The coolest but... improv marriage on the planet, because I'm just going to summon her in my hand and just, like, charge. I know, right? <laughs> also, I'm like, the cleric. I, I can I've perform never... a ceremony quick. It's true. I've never silent speeched with Ulrich, and it's just like my voice randomly in his head. Like, does he freak out? Uh, yeah, you. She telepathies to you, basically. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I mean, she's a <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah, he probably ex- yeah, totally okay with that of anyone. Uh, cool. Yeah. So we see this this moment right where Lisa gets just like, like still holding back the the yeah pound right like as a bear, but then like tele- uh, does telepathy to Ulrich. And then we see Ulrich just turn to Delia and say, will you marry me right now? <laughs> but yeah, so Lisa, you still have an action that you can take. So yeah, do you want to like, maybe like try to grapple it, maybe? I guess so. <laughs> right? Like that could be something you could do. Yeah. How do I do that? Uh, make an athletics check. Okay. Uh, as the bear. So strength check, I guess. Oof. <laughs> good luck. Well, athletics is strength, right? Yeah. As a bear, that should be pretty darn good. Yeah, but he really next you. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> buddy, Lisa. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we literally see, let's see, Lisa as a bear wrestling with his yeth hound. And we just see the, like, obviously he can't, she can't do any damage to him. But you just have maybe this moment where, like, you just, like, crush its skull into the like the 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 ground <laughs> just like keep it pinned yeah. down by like one paw like skull to the ground sort of a thing and it's like struggling and like <laughs> snapping at you nice that's pretty cool um so it's delia's turn and she's frightened no she knows she she succeed she success succeeded on the save um or you failed on the fear fail? Yeah, yeah. you have to run away. Oh, yes. Soon. That's why I'm going to get get married. <laughs> it right. He, he doesn't have to run away because um, he's not within 30 feet. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, but he can't move any closer until the effect ends. Part. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so Delia looks at you. Um, and says, of course, with all my heart. Oh. So, so what, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> so she says, um, I don't know. The last time there were like vows and there was a priest and, and stuff. Jordan! <laughs> Can I hear him from where I'm at? <laughs> yeah, or you just yell like really loud. Yes. Like, Jordan! Jordan, I need you to marry me. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't know what you're drinking, but I don't lean that way. <laughs> now I need you to marry me to Delia. What? Yeah, so that, that exchange is happening. Um, but so, Erastus, it's your turn. Yeah. So. Well, no, I can't, I can't, I like do anything as I'm. It's not your turn. Oh. That was, that was Delia's turn. Oh, okay. I understand. So. Drennan stopped moving, right? Donan, yeah. Fear. I just stopped in my tracks, pulled out a flask, drank it, looked almost <laughs> confident. 
<laughs> I've been completely deflated <laughs> again. Yeah, so as Erastus is running, he's like, what are you doing, doing? And we have to move. <laughs> and, like, he just books it. And then, so I'm only going to move 30 so that I'm within 60 feet of him. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast at him. Instead of sprinting again, because there's really no reason to. My sword won't do any damage. So... so... Oh, right, because you have Eldritch Blast goes really far. Yeah, it's 120, yeah. Nice. could have done it last turn, but I realized... Yes, yeah, so you're just like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a 13. Um... Probably a miss unless it's got a yes, really so close, so, but it is a miss. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, yes. Okay. That's... Yeah, so it just like scorches the ground next to it. Yeah. Uh, you're a little low again for some reason, David. Um, but yeah, is that all you do? Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's all I do. Okay. Sounds good. Ulrich Swain. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so so I just, I'm like, okay, so let's start saying the vows, and then he'll he'll officiate it. <laughs> right. So we'll say the vows real quick, and then when he gets here, he can just yep. be like, and I now pronounce you. <laughs> yep. Man and Faye. So... What are I, I'm like, all right. Oh, I have to. Oh, I thought there were like yeah. very specific vows. I thought it was. <laughs> you just make stuff up. Yeah, just make stuff up. Well, that seems very unofficial and very unmagically bounding. I feel like there okay, has fine. to be. Okay, fine. There's special vows. I mean, I mean, I feel I like mean, now I have to come up with them. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like if we just make up random vows, maybe yeah, if there was sense. like a yeah, like yeah. a spirit to it. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Maybe if there was like specific things. That well, I mean, it's probably her. just a vow that she makes while engaging in a pact, right? I mean, it's her that's the magical bit here. So you just have to, if she's making a vow to you under the influence of her magicalness, and you do that too, then I feel like that is probably the catalyst, right? Not the specific vows. I assume it's the fact that she is a pact weapon. Here. right right you know I, I understand that but i still feel like if i just you know i could i could promise anything and but then yeah, I but I'm, obviously that wouldn't trigger a bond that only works when you're i mean presumably your vow has to bind you together you know uh irreversibly no yeah so i think that what might. she says though i don't think it's like specific like rote words i think it's like what she says yeah. to you Ulrich is um the specific words are important but they're, they're not wrote they're, they're not written down you have to say the right words and they have to come from here not from here oh, oh crap no he doesn't say that <laughs> <laughs> he he honestly is like is like moved by that of like wow like i i never thought that a man like me would ever get into some sort of mystical thing like this <laughs> <laughs> the mystical thing called marriage. Yeah. Well, no, this mystical, like, yeah. like magically bounding. Yeah. But it, but it makes sense to him because he's studied magic point. all his life. <clears throat> yeah, and so she says, we will be bound by the vows we make. So, vow them wisely. Boy, okay. Um... <sighs> Well, for starters, I promise to keep you, to cherish you, to love you. I promise to wield you, but only for the good of those around us. And that is far as far as you can get in six seconds. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but we get free actions as we go. Can I keep making things as as people continue or is no so not... all of this is happening all every round happens in a span right. of six seconds so you're saying that right i feel like the like... battle's gonna be over by the time so you you get that far is there anything else you do 
Um, I mean, is there anything else I can do, really? Not really, I don't think. Yeah, then I'm, I'm good then. Okay. Uh, so it's the Yeth Hound's turn, and so the Bane stops. Um, so everybody's frightened and goes away. But then it's gonna attack. It's gonna attack you, Lisa. I think. Let me let me double check what grappled uh, the condition does. I think it will give him disadvantage. Pretty sure it so makes your try to break out zero. Of it. And yeah. I think you. I think they get advantage on attacks on you. I think that's it. Yeah, they don't have disadvantage against you, but you have advantage on uh, attacks against them. Um, so it's he's gonna attack you. So as you're like pinning him down, he's just like like biting you and scratching you. Um, assume that's a hit. All right. So you take as a bear, you take ten piercing and eleven psychic damage. So. As, as you're, like, trying to, like, keep this thing down, it, like, like grabs a claw, it, like, sinks it into your to your leg, and then just, like, bites a big chunk out of your leg. Um, and when it does, like, your your brain hurts, too. It's as if, like, there's a, like, a, a like, fire in your mind that's, like, eating away at your brain cells as this is happening. Oof. <laughs> yeah, so you take 21 damage. Holy crap. <sighs> wow. How do I keep track of that? As um, you should just be able to click on the token, token. um, oh, and okay. the health will pop up, the little green one, and then just uh, click on that and minus twenty one. Yeah. How much health do you have as a bear? Thirty four in total. Well. But, yeah. Does that work, Carly? Can you do it? Okay. Cool. Just want to make sure. Awesome. So that happens. Um, Marmaduke Briggs. All right. Uh, you're no longer frightened, so. Did she open up a uh, a place no, in the yet. wall yet? No. All right. I yell for her to open a small hole for the kids to escape and from so they don't get eaten. Okay. Um, on her turn, she might might do that. We'll see. Dang it. What do you do? I gather up all the kids to me. Right. So, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do that. So, they're all like waiting to like get out then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Donut. Just, just let me know when I can make a will. I... <laughs> oh, for what exactly? For, you know, the secrets. For the thing bef the, that I make. Had you make a will save for before or? Last session. Message me. I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. There's so many things going on with your character, it's hard to keep them all straight. All right, I'm going to move in closer right. to the thing. Sounds good. Uh, uh, yeah, you can get... How, what's your movement speed? 25? Probably. Yeah, so you can get 50 feet closer out of the 90 that you have to go. If so you want to... 40? Um, yeah, you have 40 left. But if you want to, you can make an athletics check and try to make it try to like bridge the distance quicker I'll, I'll allow that if you fail the athletics check it's likely that you'll get there slower though trip and fall on one's face yeah exactly well since i have a plus two to my athletics i might as well try all right sounds good so i'll try my little dwarven heart out and my little oh, dwarven heart oh, gets oh, out. No. <laughs> oh, no. uh, wait a minute oh. that was a natural one does that mean i'm like fall on my face and all my armor falls off or something <laughs> no you you just definitely i think you you only get halfway um so you you move 25 feet and then you trip and fall and so next turn you'll have to um uh use half your movement to come up from prone and then you know move. <laughs> so okay you take an inspiration for that <laughs> Yeah, I'll t uh, I'll give you inspiration, Donut. I feel like you deserve it up with all the things up to this point. Really? Okay. Sweet. Yeah, you've done some cool stuff. Okay. Um, the whole the whole brew uh, of fleeting happiness is, is a good, good one. I think he's also um, listening and witnessing the uh, 
vows being shouted. Right, of course, yeah. Because you have to shout them shout them loud enough so that Dona can hear them too, Ulrich. So. Oh, that's obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, literally the same hear. from Pirates. I don't know what you were expecting. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So Lisa gets you. Um, I run just like back here for now. <laughs> okay. I just kind of stand over there. Yeah, so you disengage then so it won't attack you. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. You're just like, I don't want to die. Um, I'm just like, I'll be here protecting the people trying to get married so that we can actually not die. That's but fair. Like... That's fair. <laughs> um, okay, so Delia um, looks to you, Ulrich, and says um, like a similar similar sort of line, right? So you guys are like like uh, potatoing it, right? So um, going back and forth. Um, and she says, uh, I promise to love you and to help you. To always be there for you. And to, um... And to join hands with you on your quest for knowledge. Aww. And that's what she does. Oh, and I guess she opens up the space for Marmaduke. And the kids to go. Um, so that happens too. Um, Erastus? Uh, shoot another Elder's Blast as you run. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take a... I mean, this is kind of meta. Maybe I won't do that. I was going to say I'm going to take a five set step back so he can't reach me in one round. <laughs> I don't really know if that makes sense. I was just yelling at Donan. So, um, because I'm not wearing my armor is the thing. Right. So, yeah, so now that I... Stop put on your armor when you're going to the... Uh... Because I was watch. chasing the cat, it was sort of a. He was on watch. Yeah. Um. So I. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay still now. That I see that it's not engaged with anybody, and will probably get mad at me when I hit it. So I'm gonna try and shoot with another one. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Seven damage of force damage. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You do that damage. It actually hurts it. Good job. Yeah. All right, that's right. Yeah, so like as it's like getting up from being like pinned by Lee Sig, uh, it just like <laughs> gets a Eldritch Blast to the side and just like looks like who just did that. <laughs> cool. Uh, Ulrich, what's the next part of your vow? Boy, uh. <laughs> said i'd wield her for the good i don't i don't mm, i don't know to have and to hold quite literally <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I, I i promise to put you before myself um yeah i, I okay okay so yeah i promise to put you before myself um, I promise to put you before um, my friends and 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 just because not because he's trying to man no I don't know if he would even even say that hold up a sec yeah, come up with wedding vows. I know, I know. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 so I promise to put you before myself, um, and I promise that the knowledge that I pursue will help the both of us. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, uh, it's the Yeth Hound's turn. Um, is that good enough though? Like, did I, did I pass the test? I mean, you don't know. <laughs> okay. You won't know until you complete the wedding ceremony, and then we'll see what happens. Um, how far away are you, Erastus, right now? Uh, 60 feet. Okay. Um,
I'm gonna roll a d20. Okay. Okay. The Yeth Hound takes the bait, and he goes after you, Erastus. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you bring it this way? So it it spends it it yeah. suddenly flies. It just like oh, cool. hovers that's, into the air like fun. Oppa style, um, and uh, flies over Get to that. you. Uses the rest of its it's the whole the whole of its turn um, to yeah. to get to you. Okay. <laughs> up in the forest up there. And well, I hope you hide your alcohol. Here we go. <laughs> Marmaduke, it's you. Oh, did you make a wisdom save for me? Oh, okay. Which one is this for? Um, this is to resist. Okay. Mm, not quite. <sighs> All right, so Marmaduke, um, you oh, go yeah. and lead the kids, right? Yeah. 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 So Marmaduke disappears with the kid with the children. Um, Donin. Man, that sounds way worse. Than, well, that sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, I, <think. laughs> I like your retraction on that. <laughs> uh, Connor. Yeah. I, I just want you to know, outside of the game, there are so many things I could have done to ruin your moment, but I didn't do it because I love you. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I also could have ruined your moment, but I chose not to by making a dice roll. <laughs> it runs in an ether. Well, I guess that to solve that. <laughs> that would have been higher than an 11. Yeah. Or a 10, a 10. Oh, boy. But yeah, don't it's you. Um, I know. You're in range to like go up to the Yeth Hound yourself if you, need, if you wanted to. Or I take my turn to... Actually... From the ground, I could do that. Well, it's a bonus action, right? So I'm going to stand up and cast Spiritual Weapon. Nice. Create a floating spiritual weapon and then range that lasts for the duration or until you cast the spell again. So it's a one-minute spell. And it is a giant hammer. Of course. Yeah. And then can make a melee... Let's see, and the range was the range is sixty feet, so I'm just gonna spawn it right next to the guy. Um, actually, I should probably I should have enough range to put it behind him, right? Mm -hmm. Do I get flanking bonuses? Uh, yeah, you can you can place it so you can get a, give advantage to Arasis. Okay. Yeah, I should probably uh, find a good hammer sprite. I'm doing that right now, actually. Okay. And then. We And I'll put it, it behind, and then uh, take a swat at the. Uh... Yeah, and then take a swat at the creature. Mm -hmm. The roll for that is. Melee attack. You should just click on the be able to click on the spell in your. Oh. Uh, yeah, and it will rule it for you. Sure enough. Uh, misses, unfortunately. So close. Choose. But, um. And I can also stand up, right? Yes. You can stand up and move, uh, like ten more feet or whatever. Right. So desire. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'll do that. Where does that end up getting me? Because I'm still off the map. I think. Um. So I think your. Well, it's not that big. It's nowhere near that big. <laughs> oh my god. Thirty foot hammer. <laughs> yeah. Can I have uh, control okay. over it? Uh, I can give you control over it. Cool. Uh. Controlled by Josh V. Okay, so 
Uh, I think you're, what was it? You were 65 feet away before, so you're 55 feet away from the map now. Okay. So I'll move another, what, 10, 12 feet closer, whatever I can? Right, that, that's what I'm saying. You were at 65, and if you move 10 feet closer, you're 55. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'll do that then, I guess. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, cool. Lee Sig? Um... So Marmaduke disappeared with the children. And uh, you see Delia and <laughs> Ulrich getting married. And you hear the Yeth Hound attacking <laughs> the rest is in the distance. I'm a bear. <laughs> yes, and you're a bear. Um, um, I just follow after the... Hmm. I was going to say I follow after the children, but would they be more freaked out by the, <laughs> the bear following them? Um... <laughs> Um, um, yeah, I guess I just follow after the children, please. Yeah. <laughs> So you're running after Marmaduke? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I yeah, so you're just going following the children? After, yeah. After this round, we, I, I have to get out of here. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we might just end on a big cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking we could just end when their vows were done. As That's like what I was thinking. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So then, um, yeah, Delia um, looks at Ulrich and says... Um, um, I will be sturdy and true. I will... I will seek to be united in spirit and in truth. And I will love you. Truly love you. Mm. And then Erastus, it's you! Yay! Alright, I'm going to... Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast the Hexblade's Curse on it. Okay. Which doesn't actually do anything yet. And then as an action, I'm going to Necrotic Shroud. So, boom. Skeletal Angel Wings, Mist Pouring Out of My Eyes, all that stuff. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> it gets to make a Charisma Saving Throw at DC 14 or be frightened of me until the end of the turn. <laughs> nice. ah, Thanks. Um... <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's bad at Christmas. Now who's running away? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my turn. Cool. Uh, awesome. Ulrich. Um, I mean, I think I finished my vows. Yeah, I think the vows are finished for sure. Um, okay. But but Donan is is not. You can you can just call out to him and just be like, just say man and wife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Donan. We're done. Say man and wife. By the power invested. <laughs> He's just like going through the forest, like tripping over twigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is By great. the seven storms and their <laughs> bolts of lightning. Ah. <laughs> uh, and all the powers of the natural world and the way things are and I don't remember what part comes next. <laughs> uh, man and wife. <laughs> wife. Perfect. Kiss and stuff. <laughs> yeah, do you guys kiss? Yep. Okay. And then a magical aura surrounds us and carries us into the sky. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happens. What? Um, yeah, a greenish hey. aura like starts to like go around you guys, right, and and engulf both of you. You're both like glowing green now, um, and you guys start to like hover into the air ever so slightly, um, and then Delia starts to as you're like you know holding her right as you're kissing, um, Delia starts to like shrink and 
get thinner, and then suddenly she is a blade in your hand. Wow. Um, and, and let's make a D100 roll, shall we? As a, a, a second rune appears on, on the blade. 97. 97. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So not only is roll a 97 or a D100 roll earlier, Jared. I don't think so. Or no. Okay. Um, not only roll again, Connor. That's a dumb one. <laughs> oh, no, nah, that's just that's honestly just dumb. Like I'm not gonna. Not gonna what do is that. it? Caleb, I appreciate you. What is it? Eighty-five. What was the dumb oh, one? Perfect. <laughs> okay, so not only is this a plus one weapon, but the moon blade also functions as a defender weapon. What? Um. So the one that no. Arrest... What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That Arrestus that is... wanted before. That is so good. <laughs> so cool. Um. Which means you gain a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. The first time you attack with the sword on each of your turns, you can transfer some or all of the sword's bonus to your armor class instead of using the bonus of any attacks that turn. For example, you could reduce the bonus to your attack and damage rolls by plus one and gain a plus two bonus to AC. So you're giving it to him as a legendary weapon? Yes. At level three? Okay. Let's yep. check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate this, uh, especially, you know, yeah, so, especially so just after to, all the crappy things that have happened to me in RPG. This is the one thing that's <laughs> on my way. And I yeah. Really so, so just to just to make it make a little bit more sense, I think I think we'll make it the the bonus a plus one, just because not to go too crazy with this. Okay. Okay. Um, but you can still do the like switching thing, right? Plus one to to it's already okay. a plus one weapon, and it gets plus one to ace uh, to okay. attack and damage. But you can also have another plus one that you can switch back and forth. Okay. <laughs> David's face. I was just confused because I, I mean that makes sense, but the way that the mechanic worked in the thing was that its bonus is what you move around, so that's why I was confused. Because if it had a plus one bonus, and that's what you would be moving, so it would have a plus two if you did that, which is fine. You can do it. Uh, no, no, that's not what it says. It just it says you gain a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made yeah. with his magic weapon. The first time you attack with a sword on each of your turns, you can transfer some or all yeah. of the sword's bonus. But that's just because. Well, I feel like yeah, I feel like it's that, saying that, it's that a is plus the bonus. Weapon. Yeah, yeah. Legendary weapons have a plus three bonus. That's why it says that. I think like, it yeah, doesn't think also get saying. another plus three that you allocate. I don't think because that would be actually insane. You get a plus six just from the weapon, which would be literally ridiculous. Um, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the bonus, and then you can allocate it. Um, but yeah, so basically, yeah. but I mean, so, yeah, I, so you have you a plus two sword. Want, I just okay. was confused. and that makes more sense anyway because this this is the second rune. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have a plus two sword, and, I, and I, what I'll do is I'll let you Connor switch both of those points around, right? So you have a plus two sword, and you can switch, right, like back and forth both of those points. Okay. The awkward thing comes in them. is, you what if I find a magical them. weapon that's more powerful than her? You're not going to for a very long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Plus, a plus three yeah, is the highest bonus a weapon can have in this game. Oh. So that's why I was like, why is he getting a plus three at level Does three? the plus one get a scale with his level then, or...? Well, he's getting it at a plus two, which is already much better than starting, he's going to get for a while. Oh, he's time. starting at the plus two, okay. Yeah, and yeah. I imagine there will be some kind of function where he can improve her because it's time right. to go get a plus three spear randomly and be like, well, I guess divorce yeah. by yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that sure obviously will be some function to okay. improve. She just uh, has yes. to get married and then divorce that person, and then she'll get a plus three. Yeah, and then come back to me. Yeah. 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 There's definitely ways to cheat this system. Yeah, um, it's all yeah, yeah. <laughs> in multiple senses. Um, um, but yeah, so that happens, and then you you, you appear right like uh, back on the, in the in the glade in the middle of the glade, Connor, and you have this like glowing green sword, and you just like look forward, and we see yep. you look at the Yeth Hound, and that's where we cut for. Yeah, like, so yeah. good. <laughs> Such a fantastic session. Loved that so much. Such oh, a yeah. strange session. <laughs> it was a very strange session. Hey Caleb, can you put yeah, a marker on strange. the thing so that we know what's afraid? Because otherwise, I'm not going to remember. Yes, indeed. Okay, thanks. Sure can do. All right, let's do goals and get out of here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do David's first. Thing, goals. 
Well, if David leaves, then I have to reorder all the things. So we'll just do them all oh. really quickly, and then okay. And then get out. Is that a heart? Um, yeah. Mine first, like right? It's, you, it's the hardest for being a thing. I don't know. Okay. Just, <laughs> they don't right. have labels. It's just I random icons. I mean, I completed all of my goals. Charmed or something. I got a magical weapon. I found the children, and I got married. Oh man, dude, you're gonna get so much XP here. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at this, shall we? Uh, all right, so you're level two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you completed find a magic weapon, which you've had since the beginning of the game. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's seven sessions worth of XP. Gosh. <laughs> um. Does the last session count? He, has, he hasn't had that goal every session, has he? No, he's had yes, it every session. He, he's never taken it off. Oh, okay. okay. I thought yeah. he... He picked up that goal in, like, the first day. Oh, yeah. Like, this is what I'm going to move my character around. I, yeah. I thought he might have replaced it and then put it back. No. Okay. I don't I don't remember anything like that happening. Not that I recall. That's fine. I just assumed, but that makes sense. Banking XP for a huge level boost mm -hmm. today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can you overcap your XP? I mean, yeah, you would just go into the next level. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of, what's the XP to get from four to five, or three to four, rather? 2,700. 2, uh, you get 1,000 XP, Ulrich. Nice. Woo! Woo! Nice. Nice. So you definitely level. Yep. Because you're level two. <laughs> uh, but not quite level three, so. That's all together with the other two as well? Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay, so just like to remind you, the the deadly encounter XP for your level is two hundred. Oh, so I gave you a What's... lot of XP. <laughs> what the heck? Strange. It's because you banked What's... it all for so many days. Exactly. Yeah. Increases. It. What What does everybody else have for XP? I have fourteen hundred. You said eighteen hundred, Jared? Oh uh, no, eight hundred. <laughs> oh, eight hundred. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I haven't. I haven't <laughs> He's only been in a couple sessions, and I've been. I, I've banked two of them every single session. Mm -hmm. Although he also got more because he started at a higher level, I think. Right? You started at level two or three. Uh, I started at two. two. Yeah, yeah. So you would have gotten a little bit more than we would have for the first few sessions for us. So. And then Josh, what are you at? Ten seventy five. One seventy five. Ten seventy five. Ten seventy five. One seventy five. Lisek, what are you at? <laughs> Jordan hasn't leveled up. Holy crap, but guys! I beat you all in XP <laughs> just with that. What are you at? So banking. I mean, yeah, but we haven't done XP for all of them yet. So. Oh, true. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you, you, you got a magical weapon. You found the children, and you got married. Good job, dude. Uh, so Erastus. <laughs> That's really interesting, because I got married. <laughs> And found the children. <laughs> uh, uh, it's um, kind of funny. I had to find out why I've gained warlock abilities, which I also had last session. Yep, so you got that. Okay, so how much is that since I've had it for two now? Um, or you want to calculate at the end? You're at three. Uh, this would have been the second session that I've had it. No, as in like your level three. Oh, level three, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's, it's 400 XP for, for that one. Okay. Escape the Fey Wilds. I just banked one towards that. So now it's been three it. sessions. And return to the children to safety. I banked one towards that because that's been one mission. So it's the four hundred. Uh, well, I was working towards them though. I forgot that's a thing. Yeah, exactly. So, so you got five hundred and twenty five this session. Total? Yep. Okay. Uh cool. Uh Dornin. I that's me. <laughs> All right. Uh, my goals, my goals were to uh, escape the Feywild. Mm -hmm. So I'll bank Working another one it. for that. Yep. Uh, discover more of Arrestus's new condition. You did that, yeah. Mm, I we did, and then confirm my suspicions of Oberon's plans. We were kind um, of exploring the Feywild and not really doing that. We did true. pick up a Fey. Under, we did pick up a fave person as part of the party, so mm -hmm. I have opportunities for that. Yeah, you will. Forward. You definitely will. 
I definitely, you know. I guarantee you, you will. Um, I worked towards it this session. Yep. So you get 300. Hey. Uh, Marmaduke. Uh, doop, doop, doop. Do secret stuff, which I did. Uh, yes, you definitely did. And then the next two will just be banked for next week again. Because <laughs> I can't change them because I'll lose. Next week will be four weeks of, of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, you did a small one. But I did a lot of two. secret stuff. So, you got 200 XP. Okay. Hey, I leveled up. There you go. Nice. Uh, Lisa. Um, steal something. Didn't do. Didn't do that, yeah. Get out of the Feywild. stole the hearts of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Did that's I, a, though? <laughs> that's a player goal that she accomplished. <laughs> um, get out of the Feywild, working, working towards that. that, and get back what was stolen from me. Which working you're working on because you need to get yeah. out of the Feywild to do that. Yeah. Uh, you're level three now? <laughs> or are you only level two? I'm on level two. You're level two. Okay, yeah, so you yeah. get... 100. <laughs> everyone just, it just kept going down and down how much XP everybody yeah. got. You're 50 away. Oh, oh that's rough, <laughs> Sig. It happened to me too, I think. Yeah, I did. That was uh, it did. bad. Well, there you go. Yeah, that was a fantastic session of Anno Domini. Definitely my favorite session so far. Um, yeah, that was legit. I, I it's really cool to see a trajectory for the season kind of like in in view now yeah. because there there's so many sessions at the beginning of this game I was just like I don't know what's happening I'm just gonna make everything up yeah. um, um, but I have a pretty clear idea of where things are going and and, and how we can kind of like uh, push everything so I'm I'm really excited to to see uh what what's going on here and honestly I will I will just say Connor I did kind of partially send the yeth hound at you guys so that you would be forced to have a quick marriage <laughs> because i knew that that was its ability and i really wanted that scene because i thought it would be so cool and it was and i'm so happy about it yeah I'm about that. <laughs> yeah the fact that you got randomly rolled a defender sword yeah <laughs> so salty yeah <laughs> oh, but, but this is the thing right he doesn't have just have a magic Sorry, what were you saying, Josh? RNG will now forsake you for the rest of the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, the issue is, uh, Roll Connor will go back to support. Doesn't him. just yeah, Connor just doesn't have doesn't just have a tool. He has a wife that he has to let you know <laughs> take care of. A wife so. that has complete control over the nature and power and and is a spellcaster. And that's yeah, not that's very PC it. if you so, get up to assume that he has uh, to take care of her. She's. <laughs> Okay. All I'm hey, saying is that she can, sounds like a. Can she horror. reverse? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure about yeah. that. I thought I was thinking, yeah, if, yeah. If I was permanently a weapon until I was done with this marriage, yeah, I'd that'd make the honeymoon yeah, really so. awkward. Ouch. Uh, um. Caleb, what was the dumb one you rolled? I wanted to know what that was. Oh, it was. A, yeah, it it, it becomes a ring of spell storing, and I was like, <laughs> Ulrich isn't gonna use that ever because he's not gonna have spells. Like <laughs> that's stupid. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, because um, wouldn't that just be dumb if it's just like, yeah, sorry, it's just it's the thing you're never gonna use. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that was that was a fantastic session, and I'm excited. So, are we gonna do two weeks from now? Is that is that? The yeah, plan? I think that's the plan. Yeah, next next uh, week two Florida, weeks so. from now might not work for me. Okay, uh, I'd have I'm to check my calendar, but I working. might be out of town for that for a convention that week. Okay. Well, we the can, only we can downside move. to ending like this is that we have to have everybody, otherwise it doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense. It, it's true. Right. It's true. So. Yeah, two weeks is going to put me right in the middle of an event, so. Okay, yeah, we, we can figure out uh, schedule stuff and see if we can yeah. figure out. Yeah, next Friday okay. is my last Friday off for quite a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we didn't do it last Friday, correct? Right. No. Do you know if it would be possible to do it next Friday? I can find out. Okay, yeah, let, let's, well, let's see if, that's, if that will work. Um, that, yeah, that is a possibility for me. I will be in Florida. Uh, right, but you'll probably have an access I'll to a have laptop, correct? Some sort of laptop, probably. Yeah. So I can do that. Okay. Cool. But. All right. Well, let's we'll, we'll see if that works, and uh, if not, you know, we'll we'll have to have a little bit of a extended break, but that's okay. Um, 
all the more sweet of a hiatus to come back from. Um, True. But uh, I'm really excited for your Anno Domini. I, I gotta say, like, there were definitely some points um, in the middle of the campaign so far where I was just like, I don't know where this is going. Like, I don't <laughs> oh, know if yeah, I'm doing definitely. a good job as a GM. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Um, but I, I really like the way it's going, and I think it's 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 kind of uh, finding its legs now. So I'm really excited. Yep. Cool. Well, there you go. That's Anno Domini. Yeah. Um, there were definitely moments, especially at the beginning of this, where I was like, "What is what is happening here?" Is <laughs> yeah. I had a little bit of that just because I didn't really give my character a lot of personal direction, like, like right. desire. So he didn't have like a place that he wanted to go. Yeah. And because of that, like I didn't, I wasn't quite sure where he was going. But now, yeah, now it's better as far as like I know what he's doing. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I do too. Yeah. Uh, good old Ponger Bond. I'm glad we had that seat. That was, yeah, that yeah. Seat. I've been planning that for a while now. So yeah. What exactly did you guys see? Uh, I saw myself, but like weathered and beaten up and like grizzled or whatever. Ring. And then, yeah. And then also I saw like a vision of death and stuff. A vision softly creeping. <laughs> death and stuff. Yeah. 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 Thanks. There you go. That's episode seven of Anno Domini. We'll be back uh, next time more uh, good old fake goodness. See ya. We're out. Bye.